All right, folks, it's Joey D with Always Empowered, and this is the new 500 watt tactical turbine. Got it set up here. It comes with a tower that goes up to about 18 feet. We've got it set up here at about 12, uh, just because it's all I can do by myself, uh, but you can do it however you want. Um, it comes with a 500 watt turbine comes in two Pelican cases, one for the tower and its hardware, and one for the turbine, its charge controller, and its dump load. In that case is, of course, EMP shielded. Let's take a look. So you can see here the tower assembly. It comes with the cord that you need to run up and connect to the, uh, to the turbine. It's not much wind right now. Murphy's Law when I'm trying to do this. Um, but the turbine is anchored via this pole in four axes. There's a stake in the center, and then it comes down here, and I'm using the, uh, the winching hardware, um, but it also comes with ground anchors that you pound in and pull back on an aircraft cable, and I'll show you those in a second. So you have a multitude of ways to deploy this tower. Uh, this works great. The winches are the easiest, and uh, this is going nowhere, let me tell you. There's the turbine. We terminate it with MC4 connectors. It comes down, and you can see that it connects right in here. Connectors are nestled right in there. And the power goes through these two connectors over here to the wind turbine charge controller. It comes in here, and uh, if your system needs power, the uh, energy goes out through here and over to an SG-1A via the expansion port. And now if the system doesn't need power, this charge controller will divert it to a dump load. So if there's lots of wind and there's no uh, load on the turbine, this will electronically apply a load to it. It's basically a couple heating coils in a heat sink and, um, and a fan. And uh, this will stay cool. You don't want to close the lid, but this will stay cool and work just fine uh, when it's acting as a dump load. So your turbine is in good shape, even when there's lots and lots of wind, unlike what we have today. No wind. So uh, the turbine comes in here. It's nestled right there. The nose cone is here. The blades are here. The fin assembly is right here. And as you can see, we are EMP shielded for this case. Um, the expansion port goes off to an SG-1A that I just have set up over there, and then you can also go on to other accessories like a boost kit, another SG-1A, or uh, some products that we have coming in the future. So that's the electronics part of the kit. And over here, you can see the tower kit. So we have uh, couplers for all the pole segments. You can see all the uh, extra poles that are down there. Um, we've got, uh, you know, these are the couplers that we're using. This is where the uh, screw-in ground anchors go, and this is where the one-shot heavy-duty anchors go. You pound these in with the stake that we also use to hold down in the center, and then you pull the stake out, and these are anchored once. <laughs> they're anchored for good, so you can then use the winches to hold it down. Um, so that is this case.